in the use of types of distribution it mainly deals with the how animals are distributed worldwide that is the uh, uh, part that is coming under the types of distribution and going to the types of distribution we mainly discuss there are three different types of distribution that you can see on the slide that what is continue one is continuous distribution other one is discontinuous distribution and third type is the bipolar distribution so these are the main types of distribution and by types of distribution we mainly refer to how animals are present or distributed worldwide for example if you take uh, kangaroos that is present only in australia you take um, elephant it's present in asia and africa in other continents we cannot find elephant so there is distinct difference in the nature of distribution and based on this we have uh, uh, divided the distribution types of distribution into three different types one is continuous discontinuous and bipolar distribution let's take one by one the first one is the continuous distribution now in the use of continuous distribution there is another term called uretopic distribution the term no, not commonly used and the the continuous distribution is exhibited by uretopic animals uretopic animals are animals which are present in almost all over the world or these are wide ranging animals and they are capable of adapting to a wide range of environmental condition for example if you take human beings you take crow you take cockroach you take mosquitoes you take uh, um, um, uh, rat you take bat these kind of animals are present all over the world so the because uh, these animals are present all there there is one important reason they are highly adaptable because of their high adaptability these animals are capable of surviving in a wide range of, of environment so they are able to survive in different environmental condition and be, and because of that in most of the continents we can find these animals and such animals which are present in uh, present present worldwide or in uh, almost all the parts of the world are known as continuous distribution are known to exhibit continuous distribution there is another term for continuous distribution it is also known by the name cosmopolitan distribution cosmopolitan cosmo means world so it is present all over the world so either we can use the term continuous distribution or we can use the term cosmopolitan distribution in the in both the both are referring to the same idea here animals are present worldwide or in or worldwide means in almost all the parts of the world except a very few regions so such animals which are exhibiting wide range of distribution are known as uh, cosmopolitan animals and their distribution is known as cosmopolitan distribution otherwise known as continuous distribution there is that means they are present from one country to another country there is a continuity in their distribution that is why that is known as a continuous distribution another point is that they are not specific to any particular type of uh, type of food or may have special power to cross barrier and there are two important reason they do not have any particular preference for any kind of food so they will for example take crow the crow will be able to manage the whatever food that is available in that environment human beings are also like that if meat is available we will we will meet to meat if no vegetables are available for example if you go to polar countries may the vegetables may not be easily available so there people are mainly resorting to meat for example in some other countries people may not be able to get enough amount of meat then they will be managing with the vegetable in some countries both meat and as well as vegetables are equally available so human beings are managing with both so in the use of cosmopolitan animals they they do not have any preference for any kind of food they have the capacity to live with any type of food that is the one reason why they are able to uh, survive in different kind of environment then another thing is they have the power to cross natural barrier for example if there is a sea or ocean between a continent and an island only those animals who have the capacity to cross that ocean will be able to uh, reach the reach the neighboring island for example in the east of africa 
and nearby island known as Madagascar. You take uh, India and nearby islands known as uh, Sri Lanka or uh, Lakshadweep or Maldives. Only those animals which have the capacity to cross this ocean will be able to reach there. So this is one of the important feature by which these animals are able to reach and survive in wide range of environment. For example, animals which, so for example, if you take a lecture, the border of the case of Andaman, Nicobar Islands or Sri Lanka, animals which are able to fly long sustained flight maybe may, can easily reach a lecture or Sri Lanka and some animals are able to swim such animals can also reach nearby animals and some animals move by rafting raft means actually so uh, such a type of uh, so natural raft are present for, no, usually formed of some floating wood or floating logs logs small animals may be surviving on this floating wood and can reach an island so these are the animals which have the capacity to na cross natural barrier or do not have any particular food preference can easily reach and survive in wide range of environmental condition here you can see the examples of animals like a rat you can see wherever you go rats are there you go bat Rats are also present in most of the countries of the world. Hawks, then cuckoos, cockroach, wherever human beings have gone, that is cockroaches are there. For example, the cockroach in, in Kerala or India is known as the Peri Planeta Americana. The scientific name is like that means it came from America. Another species is the uh, Peri Planeta Germanica, Peri Planeta Australasia. So these, all these cockroaches came from these different continents. So that's how the name, the, so that is how the cockroaches are able to reach different than uh, human beings are responsible for mainly transporting cockroaches, mosquitoes from one place to an, another place. That is the case of housefly, housefly, the, the Musca domestica. It is present all over the world. Then certain lizard species, snakes are also uh, uh, present in wide range of environmental condition. Then, and most of these eurotopic animals, eurotopic animals are animals which exhibit wide range of distribution, have a continuous distribution because they are companions of man or travel have, or have traveled to long distance with him. So be best example is the cockroach. Cockroach is a very good example because uh, the cockroach has reached almost all the parts of the world through uh, by accompanying man by because cockroach and uh, same is the case with the rat because in when the ships are going from one country to another country in the ships cockroaches as well as uh, rats will be there and they will and and uh, along with human being these rats and, and cockroaches are also transported so this is how the uh, cosmopolitan animals or eurotopic animals are able to reach wide range of environmental conditions. Then second type is the discontinuous distribution. In the so so the, from the term itself we can understand what is discontinuous distribution. There is no continuity in their distribution. The best example is the use of elephant. You take elephant, it is present in Africa, it is present. Then uh, in the nearby uh, the area, there is no, for example, you take uh, Middle East, Gulf countries, then Afghanistan, then Pakistan. In such countries, we cannot find any elephant. Then you come to Indian subcontinent and you go to uh, Thailand, we can find elephant. So elephants are present only in some selected area. So such animals, uh, are known, known to exhibit discontinuous distribution. There is no continuity in their distribution. Maybe once these animals enjoyed a continuous distribution, but due to several reasons, some of the animals in the intervening regions or in the middle areas might have disappeared because of unfavorable condition or because of lack, lack of food or because of climatic, uh, uh, climatical changes. And the animals which were living in the middle area might have ex got extinct. And all, now in the use of elephant, elephant now is now present only in Asia as well as Africa. So there are such animals which are, are known to exhibit discontinuous distribution. Here you can see that when continuity of distribution of a species is broken by uninhabited area, 
which are sometimes very large stretches of ocean so such these are that is the nature of this discontinuous distribution and if you go to the reasons for discontinuous distribution we can find that there are four main reasons for discontinuous distribution the first reason is that animals reach distant areas by sweepstake route sweepstake simply means a chance chance route as insect or snails or rat by rafting i earlier told you that there is a mechanism called as a rafting here i will show you a picture this is a natural raft so some of the animals may be uh, present on this natural raft and by the when this natural raft is floating they may be able to reach small islands or large islands and may be able to colonize or establish their population there so that is one mechanism then the case of turtles they can uh, and, and uh, they can also float and swimming in some animals swimming uh, is possible for example in in the case of some uh, uh, certain mammal they can swim smaller uh, distance and reach a, a nearby islands birds like uh, now during cyclone or uh, like uh, storms the small birds are able to uh, reach the uh, because the cyclone will carry or transport small birds to different islands or different parts of the world so storms or uh, cyclonic winds are also responsible then another reason by which uh, the uh, this, uh, the animals uh, are exhibiting discontinuous distribution is that species which which was earlier distributed continuously one there may be certain species which are found all over the world for example in these are holes holes used to be the, the origin of holes was in north america from north america holes reach uh, uh, europe asia etc now holes is only present in only few countries of the world holes is not present in all over the world so some animals which used to exhibit a continuous distribution in the in the, in the ancient past and become uh, they, uh, they, uh, and they are now showing uh, discontinuous distribution what happened is that the, uh, the those species or those population which are present in the middle regions or in the intermediate areas might have got extinct there may be different reasons for their extinction and this breaking up of a widely uh, breaking up of a uh, once a uh, 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 cosmopolitan species into uh, this result in the breaking of a cosmopolitan species into a discontinuous species so that is the second uh, theory that is proposed that is the present day uh, for example in the use of elephant also elephant for example if you look at the fossil history elephant was present in russia elephant was present in uh, europe also so elephant used to have a continuous distribution in the ancient past now it uh, because of the uh, unfavorable condition in many parts of the world elephant population in those region got extinct so now elephant is only surviving in africa and also in asia so these are this is another reason that is some uh, some animals used to have a continuous population or cosmopolitan distribution in the uh, in the past and because of the presence of unfavorable condition in the intermediate areas those population got extinct and only the so the now the population is only surviving in small pockets that is the reason for the presence of discontinuous distribution now there is another reason there are mainly four reasons the third reason is that continental drift continental drift separated continents and carried them to long distance isolating animals from other areas for example in the last class i was discussing that the south america and north and africa was very close together india and madagascar was very close together so in the earlier time the elephant population from africa can easily reach india that was very that was <laughs> very easy now what happened is that indian continent slowly is subcontinent slowly moved away and moved to a northern portion and then separating african population as well as the indian population so same similarly as in this of south america also so this movement of continent and slowly has also resulted in the splitting of the population that is another reason why some animals are only present in certain region then fourth reason a widely distributed species can become extinct 
in the intermediate area due to change in climate to which some species may be una unable to adapt. I already told you about that. So these are the four reasons why some populations are showing discontinuous distribution. Now we can see some examples of discontinuous distribution. Here you can see the nature of continental drift. See the Af Africa and South America were close together. Now it is very far from each other. Similarly, India and Africa were very close together. And India, Africa, Australia, Antarctica were all close together. Now they are separa widely separated from each other. So uh, this is how the continental drift is happening. Now this is another example of what of a raft, natural raft. Now this kind of small raft, sometimes some natural rafts are very big or up to the size of a small island even. And, and smaller animals can easily survive on that raft for several months or several years. So, and by the floating of the natural raft, they may be able to reach some unoccupied, uninhabited islands and able to slowly colonize and inhabit in those islands. So, these are the mechanisms by which animals are able to reach different parts of the world. Then, you can see some examples of animals exhibiting discontinuous distribution. For example, peripatus. Peripatus is, is an, a small worm like animal. You can in Kerala also you can find this peripatus. Now it is present, there are 75 species. It is mainly present in Southeast Asia, then East Indies is there, Australia is there, New Zealand, Africa, South and Central America. So peripatus used to have a cosmopolitan distribution due to the extinction of animals in the intermediate area. Now peripatus is distributed only in certain countries of the world. Then another example is the use of lungfishes. Last year you might have studied lungfishes is having only three population. One population in Africa, one population in South America and one population in Australia. Although, though there is difference in their genus, there are only three population, uh, three, uh, uh, presently there are only three population. So once these uh, languages used to be present in almost all the continent, it is because of the extinction of animal, extinction of species in intermediate area that the, now the population of the language is restricted to Africa, South America uh, and as well as Australia. Now there is another example is a limbless amphibian. Limbless like ichthyophis, gigenophis, both species are present in Kerala. If you go to the forest of Kerala, you can find a, a earthworm like animal. It, much bigger than earthworm, maybe one foot in length. Uh, the thickness may be up to the thickness of your finger. It is almost like a small snake. But they are a harmless, poisonous, po and they are not poisonous. Then this is known as ichthyophis. And ichthyophis and gigenophis. Now they are occurring in Africa, South America, Central America, South Asia and East Indies. So in several parts of the world we can find this limbless amphibian. Limbless means they do not have legs. Almost look like a worm like or a snake like body. Very smooth wet body. And such animals, yeah, that, that is another case of uh, uh, animals exhibiting district, discontinuous distribution. Now take the case ostrich. Ostrich are distributed in southern hemisphere mainly. The, the, there are different varieties of ostrich. One is Rhea americana. It is a type, actually a, more, a type of ostrich itself. Rhea americana is present in Argentina as well as Brazil. Then the proper ostrich known as Truthio cam, cam, camellius that is present in Africa. A modification of ostrich in Emu. Emu is present in Australia. Then Cassowary. Cassowary is present in North Queensland. North that is also also in uh, Australia. Then New Guinea. So Cassowary. Then Kiwi in the forest of uh, New Zealand. So uh, in the use of ostrich also, we can find that the ostrich used to be having a cosmopolitan distribution once. It is is the, the because of the disappearance of uh, uh, this ostrich in other areas now ostrich is restricted to different uh, locality different countries or different regions and after the and after that separation what happens is that since there is no gene exchange between them each population 
evolved in a separate region for example uh, popul population in africa evolved into struthio camellius population in south america evolved into struthio rhea americana so according to the natural condition local condition there is variation and in the nature of animal but if you examine the evolutionary history if you examine the dna we can find a lot of similarities between all these animals that is why scientists are saying that they used to be uh, have a, a common population it is from that common population all these uh, uh, different types of fossils came into way so these are the examples of uh, animals exhibiting discontinuous distribution see this is the <coughs> Peripatus and this, this animal is known as a peripatus. You can find if you in Kerala also you can find peripatus. Then uh, this is the uh, struthio or cam uh, emu. That this I think this is the emu photo of emu. And this is the jejuno ichthyophis, almost like an earthworm. Body is all but one foot will be in length is around one foot or more than that. And this is also a type of Bactrian camel, two humped camel. So there are uh, this. Uh, these are the different types of animals which are exhibiting cosmopolite distribution. Now, a few more examples are the, for example, marsupials. In this uh, marsupial, they occur in Australia, and one but one type of marsupial is also present in South America. Now, because why the reason is that once this Australia and South America, see this is the Australia. There was a continuity here at that time. Now. Now the continents were widely separated. That is that is one reason why uh, the, this uh, 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 this uh, marsupials are also present in South America as well as in Australia. Then what happened is that because of the evolution of modern plants, modern mammals, uh, marsupial mammals in most of the other continents become extinct by competition with the modern modern placental mammals. So that is the case. So for example, opossum. Or possum rat. Then the common camel. Camel is the camellia, camel, camellia dromedaris. That is present in Middle East, Gulf countries, and also in Northern Africa. Another species of camel known as cam Camellius bactrianus is found. In, this is the Camellius bactrianus. This is the. It is present in China as well as Mongolia. Now another uh, related species known as the Lama, Lama vicuna and Lama guanaco, they are present in South America. Basically, all these different um, animals are belonging to the same population of camel. And because of the splitting of population, they have now evolved into separate species. Now, in the case of elephant also, we have only two surviving species. One is Loxodonta africana, that is present in Africa. Then we have Elephas Maximus. Elephas Maximus is present in almost uh, many parts of the Asia, like India, uh, then Burma, Thailand, and also Sri Lanka. So, but in the use of this population, also there is different. For example, in the use of Sri Lankan elephant, bo both male and female do not have any tusk. That is not the case in Indian elephant. Indian elephant or the male has the tusk, female do not have tusk. So each population is evolving in a separate manner because of the splitting of the population. Then alligator. Alligator is present in America, North America as well as in China. The alligator Mississippians in America, Cayman in South America, alligator Sinensis in China. So the, this is the alligator used to have a common population in the past. Now because of the splitting, the, all these uh, animals have evolved into separate species. So that is the regarding the uh, uh, disc discontinued disc distribution. Then one more that is the bipolar distribution. In this uh, bipolar distribution, these animals are present only in uh, polar region, either in Antarctica or in Arctic region. But in the intermediate regions, like equatorial region or tropical region, we cannot find these animals. So there are many examples of like that, like uh, polar bear, then polar arctic fox, lemmings, coyote, reindeer, this is the reindeer, this is a coyote, this is the polar fox. So these animals are only present in 
polar region because the you know the nature of arctic countries uh, or nature of the antarctic region they are mostly cold most of the time the temperature may be below zero degree mostly snow covered or ice covered regions are there so the environment there is completely different from the environment that we are finding in a tropical country or in a temperate country so these animals are specialized to live only only in cold regions that is why some animals are only present in when the poles of the region either may be they may be present in uh, northern pole or they may be present in southern pole so some species because they are adapted to cold arctic climate they cannot migrate to warmer region and are restricted to polar region such animals are known to exhibit bipolar distribution some animals are present in north pole as well as south pole but some are only present in either south pole or in the north pole such a type of distribution is known as a bipolar distribution so these are examples of bipolar distribution